there's still a lot of discussion about the top drivers and accelerators, namely the top four drivers being Kurt, Vert, Taro and Karma. However, Vert sucks most of the time and Karma doesn't even come close to Taro and Kurt, so in this video I'll be discussing who's better, Taro or Kurt. Basically this comes down to a wide variety of categories and for this we have to compare their feats, experiences, based on the law. The first category we have to talk about is accolades. Now an accolade is a title granted as an acknowledgement of something, which means that it can help with reference to who is the better driver. For Taro, when delving into the World Race comics, he has won several international events, and that's basically it, I, I couldn't find anything else. So that at least means he's better than several countries several times. However, if we take a look at Kurt Wilde's accolades in the same series of comics, Kurt has been celebrated as one of the best race car drivers in the world. And of course we have him competing in the Grand Prix, which is another high level title in itself. Therefore, in my opinion, being the best driver in the world and racing in the Grand Prix takes more precedence over winning several international events, therefore Kurt wins the category of accolades. The second category we have is driving skill. Now obviously for Taro, if we take a look at the Metro Realm, and the Water Realm, and the Ice Realm, Taro displays insane amounts of driving skill that get him out of very very tough situations. Being able to manoeuvre on ice is no joke, and taking those turns and insane speeds only furthers his display of skill. As for Kurt, he's the only driver in which his manoeuvres have been highlighted in the series. If we take a look at his duel with Banji, Kadeem, one of his drones in the Battle of Hot Wheels City, him driving backwards in the Junkyard Realm, Kurt also has insane skill. Kurt has a better ability to drift, as seen in just about every realm, such as the Swamp Realm, Junkyard, and Cliffside Realm. Although their skill could go both ways depending on the situation, I believe that even though Kurt could be better, I believe that both drivers are of equal skill. Now, the next category is Composure. Taro has displayed an insane amount of composure. Again, not during the ice realm being chased by the drones, but also during his driving on ice. Also during the duels against the drones in the metro realm and the pressure of his second run in the water realm, Taro remains very calm despite his life potentially hanging in the balance. As for Kurt, he displays an insane amount of composure as well. Being chased by a massive truck in the Metro Realm twice, being able to catch up and save Shrugger's life in the Crimpside Realm, and being able to reverse escape the Sweeper in the Junkyard Realm, and that he has Grand Prix experience in which you would have to have very good nerves, both drivers' composures are very comparable. Kurt also displays composure while being the leader, leading all drivers within the Cosmic Realm. Now it is arguable that Taro has better composure, I truly believe that Kurt's Grand Prix experience in which you would have to have very good nerves in, and overall calm levels and display of leadership during the Cosmic Realm level the playing field. Therefore I believe both drivers are equal in composure. The next category is consistency. How consistent are the drivers within the realms? That consistency also shows their average driving skill. Well for Taro, his highlights are the Water Realm, Metro Realm, Ice Realm, Pipeline Realm and Junkyard Realm where he places top 2 to top 3 if you don't include the sciences since they literally cheat to win. So that's basically 4 times he was in the top 3. For Kurt, he only places top 2 twice in the Metro Realm and Junkyard Realm, however there is some missing data about his placement in the Cliffside Realm. Regardless of the missing data, I think it's pretty clear that Taro claps in consistency against Kurt because he's just top placing all the time. Now the next category is clutch. Are the drivers able to pull off feats to save their lives or get out of extreme situations? I think the obvious answer is Taro. We obviously see that his water realm feat is more than enough to win. If we do look at Kurt though, he just doesn't get into any of these situations in which he can be clutch. He can be clutch in a way, you know, where he's focused, such as that maneuver with Kadeem, uh, but it's just not enough. 
Now let's look at the realms entered. Now this is relevant as it shows Tesla, the smartest person apparently in accelerators, the person who picks the drivers. It shows his opinions on the level of skill of the drivers. Now it can be interpreted that the more a driver is picked, the more skill Tesla thinks they have because you know how he prioritizes acceler charges and always wants to win them. In this case, both drivers have entered nine realm each which means that they both win the category. The next category we have to look at is the world race. Now we already have like consistency or whatever, but I think it's still good to look at how they fared in the world race. Now, how did they place? Well, Taro nearly gets first in the second and third legs of the world race, while Kurt won just the first one. This again highlights Taro's overall consistency in which he again wins the world race category. Now the next category in which I think is fair is decision making. Taro's decision making is very questionable as we see him try to pass Vert in the lava realm, rams the car in the water realm for no reasons since there was another car there anyway, corners himself in the metro realm and somehow thinks that the Sansa is karma in the pipeline realm even though it just spawned out of nowhere just at the perfect time even though he's literally chasing the Sansa in front of him. Now, Kurt, as we see, rarely gets into his sticky situations as we discussed before in which, you know, he can't really show off his driving skill nor clutchness, which is also evident why he's not seen as clutch by Ta as Taro, simply because he doesn't just get himself into those bad situations. Therefore, Kurt wins the decision-making category as you would have to make good decisions as a Grand Prix driver. Now the next category is knowledge. How much do they know about driving? How can they apply that towards their racing? And I think the answer is just pretty obviously just Kurt, mainly because in order to be a Grand Prix racer, it's guaranteed that he's been trained and taught by other professionals, gaining that knowledge. As for Taro, I do think he has a good amount of knowledge, but I think he has more of the work ethic and has worked really hard and attained some knowledge, but not as much as a Grand Prix pretty driver would. Again, it's like Rocky versus Drago where Kurt is Drago and is better off and has more knowledge simply because he has those tools at his disposal while Taro is worky, Rocky working his ass off to get that skill. Now the next category is adaptability. This category clearly goes to Taro as he is able to adapt to every realm as seen by his high rankings and able to get out of high pressure situations. As for Kurt, I I, I can't really say anything. He he does, you know, he's, he's just not as good as Taro when it comes to that stuff. The next category is experience and I assume that both drivers would have equal experience. Now why do I say this? Because both have completed the same amount of realms and been in the world race together. Taro has also won several international events which is and what I think in my opinion is equivalent to Kurt's Grand Prix experience. If he had won just one international event I wouldn't say that's equivalent but since he has done it multiple times I do think it equates to Kurt's Grand Prix experience. Overall, Taro wins with extremely high difficulty. If it wasn't for Kurt's Grand Prix experience, Taro would absolutely roll. And I think that's the beauty of Accelerators. Like, with the whole thing, like, although the Teku, on average, has a higher skill than the Metal Maniacs, the Metal Maniacs have the best driver. So it kind of balances out. Anyway, thanks for watching.